This is target shooting designed to get your heart pumping. Speed, accuracy and teamwork are key. We're at Purbright, next to the National Shooting Centre Bisley for the National Rifle Association's Falling Plates competition. There are three similar but different events taking place. The first is for Pongos, serving military personnel using semi-automatic weapons. It's a big favourite of the Omanis, the reigning champions who take this seriously and train hard. They even have their own camera crew. Their main opponents are not the British, but the Canadians. Bisley is probably one of the most prestigious shooting events you can come to. You know what I mean? Like there's some all over the world, but Bisley has so much history, goes way back. It's on everybody's bucket list. You have to do Bisley. Did you come here to win? We always come here to win. The team that I have right now is a composite team from all across Canada. They're basically taken from the top 50 list in Canada, showed out who's the fastest, who's the best shots, and always put our best team forward. Each team of four starts lying prone, then on command runs a hundred yards to the shooting position to take down the steel plate targets in front of them in the quickest time. Fast team down there doesn't necessarily win. All right, you can get down there faster, but you got to knock down what's down there, and that's where the accuracy part comes in. In the finals, it's the Canadians that triumph. Guess what? That is one of the things on our list too. Beat the Omanis. Okay, thanks again. Next up are the civilians who won't get anywhere near the times posted by the military guys and girls as they won't be using semi-auto rifles. Nikki Bennington has come all the way from Devon to compete, having got her FAC 10 years ago. Well, this is an AR-15, um, which is a straight pull rifle. It's magazine fed. This one's got a telescopic sight, but you can have any type of sights on it, any type of stock. Um, this one's not too heavy because obviously I don't want to lug around a heavy rifle. Um, you don't have to buy one new, you could always buy one second hand. But this really is the easiest and the most common rifle that we're using in CSR, but people use bolt action rifles. If you've got something with a 10 round magazine, you can use it. They're all either what we call straight pull rifles or bolt action rifles. Um, and most of them will be a military calibre, so it'll either be 5.56 or 7.62. The advantage with a heavier 7.62 bullet is it knocks the plate over easier, but it's a little bit slower to reload than the straight pull 5.56. So it's a toss up between the two, really. Um, most of the teams that seem to be doing well seem to be shooting a mixture of, of those two calibres. There's a complete mix of people here, from ex-military to those who see it as a good excuse to have a get-together with friends. Gareth and his mates all shot together at university. Great fun. It's combining you know, a bit of physical activity with shooting straight, mastership skills. It's a lovely day out in the sun, in the summer. It's a team event, so you've got all your mates with you. It's brilliant. There really is a welcoming and fun atmosphere here, with plenty of banter as some of the older bodies lurch forward in pursuit of glory. But we're shooting guns. Surely we must be serious at all times. You'll find that most of these shooters, once they've adopted that shooting position, uh, most of the, what else happens is, is gone. They really are concentrating on the fact that they have a live firing uh, weapon in their hands and uh, they need to be appreciative of that fact. And they forget about everything else, carry on, really. That's, uh... And I think Fred and I are experienced enough to herd them around as cats we're doing it in a friendly way, but at the same time, we're actually switched on and we know if we don't like the look of it, we will say something and we'll say it straight away. Now, we said there were three disciplines here today. The third is the historic, using Enfields. They don't have to run as far, maybe because of the age of the competitors rather than the rifles, but hang on, there's a young competitor in a miniskirt. What on earth is going on? I don't look dressed, no. I wasn't prepared for prone shooting, uh, unfortunately. I'd, all I was told is we were shooting Enfields and doing falling plates, so <laughs> that's, that's all I knew. <laughs> I did a bit of shooting when I was in cadets in the ATC uh, when I was 13. That's when I first started and uh, enjoyed shooting. And then I found out about the shooting club when I went to uni, went to Queen Mary. 
and uh, yeah, I've been shooting ever since. So mostly we do TR, a bit of clay pigeon shooting and tutu shooting mostly. Um, but yeah, found out about this competition and thought we'd come along and have a try. <laughs> Louise doesn't own an Enfield, but just turned up and borrowed one, which is what's so great about these events. The more come the merrier. Everybody here will have to have been a member of a club or the N NRA. But the NRA offer introductory days, guest days. Every club has the same thing. They have guest days uh, where any civilian that hasn't got a criminal record can come along and have a go. And then, if they like it, join the club. And every club has club rifles, so you don't need to buy your rifle initially. Uh, you train with them. And once you've done a six-month probation uh, and you're safe, um, then you'll become a full member of that club. You can then apply for a firearms license and buy your own uh, rifles and get into anything, whether it's historic, CSR, stalking, you know, vermin control, target shooting, you know, um, practical rifle, uh, practical mini rifle, shotgun, you name it, everything. All through the day we've been asking what makes a successful falling plate team and it's been split. Some say running speed, some say accuracy. So what do the overall winners think? Fast running and good accurate shooting. And it, all came together. and it all came together on a day. Didn't last year, but this year yeah. we've had another go. And we've got what yeah. we were after. You didn't have me in the team. <laughs> no, that was it. We didn't have him. He pulled his hamstring, yeah. but we got there. That's the main thing. We didn't have Colin, did we? <laughs> no, so maybe it was just me and Rich <laughs> with a problem. If you want to stretch your legs and your barrels, please go to nra.org.uk.